So we just had this pit stop in New Dean. Um, we are now heading today to Treviso. So we're staying there for three nights. We've got one full day in Treviso and then we're going to do a day trip to Venice. <laughs> Another one done. Really, really warm tonight. It's like, it's six, seven o'clock and it's still 33 degrees. So it was, it was really tough. Felt like crap today. I think I missed a coffee this morning and suffering from bad headaches and dehydrated and stuff, but had a coffee this afternoon, picked me up a little bit. Got a nice salad in with some salmon for dinner. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna have another, another day in the city. And then the day after that we're in Venice, so looking forward to that. <laughs> so just having a look at the bike this morning, seeing the front tires got uh, uneven wear up front. Um, which I'm finding it quite hard to explain because we try and pack the bike as evenly as possible. Um, and the, the front tire you can see here, the grooves on this side, and there's there's no grooves left on the on the right hand side. Um, so I've got uh, as Airbnb B has been an absolute star. He's one of his pals does tire fitting, so he's got his booked in for the morning, got a new tire ordered. Um, so we're going to shoot there early doors and uh, get that fitted before we head into Venice. Just having a look now at the um, at the suspension sag. Uh, I set it up before we left uh, to the Triumph specifications because you have to set it up for pillion and for luggage, so for the extra weight on the back. Uh, I never adjusted the front because it says the the front suspension is set for exactly the same for all types of weight. So. Um, I'm just double checking to make sure it wasn't adjusted before uh, before I got the bike really. So you can see it's just got two adjustment settings, one on each fork, wind them all the way in and then you count eight turns on each one um, coming back out and that should be your, your final setting. For your rear suspension you've got your spring preload adjuster and then your rebound damping and you've got two separate adjustments for that, exactly the same type of adjustment so you just wind it all the way in count your number of turns out with your, uh, your spring preload it, it clicks so you just count the number of clicks um, and then on your uh, your rebound damping so you just count the number of turns it's just a flathead screwdriver you just turn with that um, and then again you just refer to your chart this one here which I followed um, off the Triumph forum website so you just make sure you be careful to count them correctly and that should be it for passenger and luggage um, I'm just going to double check them and Hopefully, after we change his tyre, um, it'll all be okay again. <laughs> this amazes me here. They have copper drainage pipes. If I've had these near me, Pikers have had them years ago. So this is called the Fontana della Tete, <laughs> which actually translates to the Titty Fountain. So today marks two full months traveling around Europe on the bike. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, same as last month, so first month of us traveling, I totted up as full expenditure. So uh, all of us Airbnbs, all of us accommodation combined, and all of us spends. So as spends includes as food, drink, activities, fuel for the bike, uh, any extras we need to buy. So if I need to service the bike or anything like that, uh, haircuts down to like every every single penny we spend so we'll look at month one and month two and see how they compare and we'll see if we're on budget and if not how much we've actually spent so this is this little spreadsheet that we've made so it's really simple i'm fucking by no means a excel expert all i've done is put in the price of the airbnbs how many nights were in that airbnb and then just divide it by each other so it gives you an average nightly spend of your accommodation. So then what I've done, once I've added up that month's total accommodation, I've added it to 
my Halifax Clarity Card statement for that month and that will give us a total monthly expenditure. So you can see here, as first month, as accommodation costs £764 and as spends was £1,367, giving us a total of £2,132. It gave us a daily spend of £71.7p. And um, We didn't really have much to go by. Uh, we knew we were under budget, so we were okay. And then for month two, which we're just finished now, it gives accommodation total of 718 quid and then as spend for that month total spend was 121 pound and that was a total of 1840 quid so we're like 300 quid less in the first month which is really good i think we've just got a little bit more savvy um eating at home eating as airbnb is a little bit more rather than eating out we don't really drink that much either it's not like we're going out partying every night if i've got to drive the bike here drinking is pretty much off the card so all in all really really happy where spending's going i honestly thought this was going to be cost us an arm and a leg in compared to Asia, but honestly it's not. £2,000 for one month for two people, it's, it's, easily done. it's easily done on a tight budget. So if you've got a spare four grand and a motorbike laying about, you can uh, get yourself around Europe for a couple of months. Treat yourself. <laughs> Go for your tire change and they give you a free bottle of Prosecco. Winner. <laughs> Emily's buzzing. She's been sat here patiently, haven't you? Done well. Thirsty, thirsty <laughs> So that's Venice all boxed off now. We're really happy with how yesterday went. We've managed to keep in budget. Uh, we only ended up spending like 40, 40 odd quid for both of us all day and we had a really good day. We're now heading over to Verona to meet Elliot and Ellie. If you hit subscribe, you can continue his trip from there.